Maybe you have experienced this before when you have your goals and you know you should do something for them. You're just feeling super, super lazy in that moment right now and nothing seems to drag you out of this laziness. There's nothing that could help you in that moment. And you might tell yourself, okay, tomorrow I will change. But then you wake up the next day tomorrow, nothing changes and you still continue this rut and there's this downward spiral of laziness. I know this feeling as well and right now actually I'm going through this process right now. Uh, yeah, today I want to share how I will get out of this. My name is Dennis and I'm building my business in saves right now because I want to live free, travel the world. Here on YouTube I want to document my whole journey, my whole learnings and all the down phases, the up phases. Right now we are in Latin America, Colombia. If this sounds interesting to you, then you can consider subscribing and now let's continue with the video. To some degree I feel like okay like a resistance to share this here because there's some of this self-image like I want to keep up okay this is this disciplined guy, the productive guy that is never lazy but this is not the truth so sometimes I have those lazy phases and sometimes I have like productive phases and lazy phases. Today I was reflecting and I was like okay what did I do previously when I had those lazy phases? I was watching like one of my older videos where I spoke about exactly that and I had some interesting learnings relearned a lot of things and I hope if you are in a downward spiral or in like a lazy phase this will help you as well to get out of there. So the first thing that I brought back into my awareness is that like there's a difference between not being disciplined and really being lazy which in my opinion goes a step further. So not being disciplined is when okay we have our goals we want to achieve them we want to do something but we seem to not just have the power or the strength to overcome this inner resistance ourselves that wants to keep us where we are right. We only can overcome this with discipline. Laziness goes in my opinion a step further so we, we might even have a goal have also the inner resistance that holds us back but when we are truly lazy we do not even want to change something we do not even want to do something about it we just want to be lazy and do nothing. So the next thing that I re realize if you want is that there's like a cascade of laziness when I have one lazy action when I do something lazy right so for example not doing the right thing this would lead in my brain to a lazy thought and this lazy thought is very likely to lead again to a lazy action and so on and so forth so this is a cascade like a downward spiral of laziness so one lazy action lazy, lazy thought more lazy actions more lazy thoughts this makes the whole thing more and more likely to become or to make the whole day super super lazy usually when you you start with one lazy thing it drags you down Totally that you say okay this whole day was was wasted really I was so lazy I just lied down and did nothing today. If you are in this laziness downward spiral for example like I am right now it's time to just take a break and think about it again and just realize and accept I am in this downward spiral again. So right now there is an increase in awareness. We have the awareness now okay we are in this downward spiral that affects itself more and more downwards. This also goes vice versa into the other direction. When there's a downward spiral there's usually also like an upward spiral. What I realized for myself that one productive action also led to one productive thought or motivating thought that led to more productive action that led to more productive thoughts which then brought me into an upward spiral. So basically every win in productivity or in productive action leads to more wins which then leads to even more wins. Even when we're out of this laziness phase or again in this laziness phase we're basically fighting like a constant battle between falling down into the downward spiral and getting dragged up into the upward spiral. This is like the constant battle so we have to very become aware of that uh, and make the right decisions. The next thing that I relearned is that we really have to take care of our initial actions at the start of the day. Why is that so? Because usually the initial actions are the first, the hardest ones and second of all the most important ones. Why is that so? So it's the hardest one because there's no momentum yet that pushes on us into the right direction right because we have to bring up discipline to do the right action steps. There's no momentum yet. This is why it's the hardest but it's also the most important one at the same time because we will determine with this initial action whether we are like setting ourselves our day up for losses or we setting the day up for wins, wins 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 right when is the best time for that to get out of this rut so obviously it's not in the evening when we already have like a, a streak of losses right a way easier to start this cascade of positive wins is in the morning right so when you are in this laziness rut maybe try it out to do the initial steps like tomorrow maybe tomorrow morning to do them right for me usually of course waking up early and then doing your morning routine so waking up early is what sets up the day for either wins or failures and another thing that is I think also important is that we don't beat ourselves up when we are in this laziness rut I assume you're not always that lazy right you have those goals you, you want to achieve something this is like something that you can be proud of you, you can tell yourself hey okay I'm in general better than 99% of the people out there that I because I have at least goals I'm striving to something more and it's normal that my body doesn't always want that my mind works against me my emotion work against you I think as soon as we always continue as soon as we like try to get out of this rut we will get out of this rut at some point anyways I want to appreciate you 
for watching because my goal with this channel here is like to build like a community of like-minded people that all want to improve, that all want to try, try to become better and I hope I will. I can inspire one or two people. If this sounds interesting, you can subscribe down here, follow my journey of my 10 years and we might see each other with lots of motivation, with no laziness in the next video. Thanks for watching. Buenas noches.